name is Bradley Lily is leader and welcome to our learning book launch. Now you're probably wondering what is learning book and why do we use it? So learning book is used in both nursery and reception and at some point you might see staff walking around with one of these tablets in their hands taking photos or videos or making little notes on children's learning. So this is used in both nursery and reception and is a digital learning journey where you can observe, track and view information on your child's progress easily and securely. Learning Book provides us with the opportunity to share valuable learning steps and progress with you, enabling you to support your child's progress further at home. So as I said earlier, we walk around with these, um, we work with children, we observe children taking photos and videos and making little notes of their learning. What we do then is add learning objectives, so the things we've seen your children do, we have a look through our areas of learning and decide what they have achieved. We then think about as a team the next steps that your children need for their learning and add that to their learning book. We then upload this to the parent portal and this is where you can then access looking at the photos, videos and have a look at what your child's been doing and learning. You can then obviously extend their learning at home or secure their learning by trying different things or repeating things that you've seen that we've done on learning book. So how to log on. So if you go on the computer, you could open the internet browser and you can either type in Learning Book Parent Portal or www.mylearningbook.co.uk. Don't worry if you're forgetting all this information, this will I'll put this presentation on the school website for you to access so you can look through in a bit more detail. Um, if you have a smartphone, you can also download the My Learning Book app. And this notifies you if any new learning has come through. So if you're busy and you're on the go, it will just send you a ping and then you can see what your child has been doing. So you're not needing to log on and log off um, to find out what your child's been learning. So logging on, it then brings you to the parent portal where you'll be asked to enter your email address and your password. Everybody was created an account at the end of July um, with the web address that you signed up to Learning Book with and a password should have been sent out to you or a link for you to create your own password. Don't worry if you haven't got one, if you just want to send me an email with the email address you'd like to use to hbrazzle at airedaleinfants.com and then I can send you the link to create yourself a new password. So you just type in your email address and your password and then click log on and then that will take you into your child's learning book. You will then see the start page where there'll be a photograph of your child, your child's name, date of birth and the school that they are at. If you have two children at our school, you will see two books and you'll just click on the child whose book you want to look within. So browsing through your child's learning book. So if you are on your phone or a smart tablet, you can just swipe across using your finger. If you're on a laptop or computer, you can click the arrows you can see and it just literally turns the pages like a book. As you can see here on this first page, it's a picture of the child and then it has some information such as what your child likes, dislikes, food and what activities they like to do at home. If you could fill that in for your child, we'd really appreciate that. That's not something that we get to fill in, um, we don't have time to fill that in within school with all the children we have. Um, so that would really help build a bigger picture of what your child enjoys and could help us with some future planning of learning activities. So then once you've scrolled across or swiped across, it will then show you post-it notes with some writing on. So this one just says Arabella hopscotching we tend to put a little bit more information than that sometimes you'll have paragraphs really long observations other times it might just say toby touch counted to 10 and then there'll be a photograph of your child or a video for you to look at if there's more than one photo i'll just swipe back sorry it will tell you there you can see there's a little image and number two so then if you click on the image it then shows up bigger and you can see, you click on the different images there, you can have a look at all the different photos we've taken. The same as if it's a video, just click on the play button, it will enlarge and you can see the video of what your child has been doing. 
and you then click the X and that takes you back to your child's learning book and you can just swipe through the pages to see what your child has been learning. You can also add a comment of how pleased you are or if your child's done something at home that links to what we've been doing you can add that in on there too or even if you just want to add a smiley face emoji that's absolutely fine. Um, so to add a keepsake comment you'll click on the observation and there's just buttons here as you can see in the purple saying add your keepsake comment. You can click on there if you just want to put great job or you've been learning about circles, John recognised at home that the clock is the shape of a circle. Um, you can also see who's made the comment, so if mum and dad both have access to learning book it will say whether dad's made the comment or if mum has made the comment. At home, this is the part we'd really like you to start using. So this is the section where you can take photographs of your children's learning at home and upload that for us to see. There are lots of things children can do at home that we might not see in school. So for instance, riding a bike, or if they've got any pets, if they've been looking after the pets, days out that you've been on, all these super things that you do at home that we don't get to see, we'd love for you to share with us. So you can take a photo on your phone, or if you've got a digital camera, upload that to your laptop, and then upload that onto the learning book, and just add a comment about what your child's been doing. We can then link this up to a learning objective, so we know that your child's achieved, and it just helps us to build a really big picture of what your child's doing. So the at home feature, you just click on the at home icon at the top of the menu and this will take you to the at home page where you can see all the pictures and text you've uploaded. Um, to add a picture, you'll just click add photo icon and then it'll prompt you to select your photo and upload your photo and make your comment. Now it does say that taking photos, we don't always have control over the size of the photos that you're taking and if photos are over a certain size they might not upload. This over the few years we've been using learning but this hasn't ever been an issue. However if it is please come and see us and we can help you if you're just having problems with uploading photos. Um, any questions? So if you do have any questions you can feel free to email at the email address that I said earlier or if you want to catch me at the end of the day or any of the other early years team in reception, everybody uses it so we all know how to use it and how we can help you. Um, if you'd just like to have a go at uploading anything, it might be something your child's done in the summer holidays or at the weekend, we'd love to see the learning they've been doing at home. Thank you.